Hello, Hyperspace, my name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped, because this is some Overwatch gameplay. This is a very early Overwatch gameplay, way back when the beta was still very, very young, and I was still completely clueless on where I'm going on the map, so you're going to see me make a lot of noob moves, a lot of mistakes, and I'm going to die a lot. However, I played a lot of the beta, and I picked up a lot of stuff and a lot of tips to help you guys out. Now, I'm still a noob, and everybody who played Overwatch at this point is still a noob, because nobody played the full game. However... Noob advice to noob advice is what I'm going to give you, and I know it's not the best advice out there, but it's still doable. I mean, we can we can help each other out, you know, noob advice from me, and you, you, you guys give me some noob advice back to myself, and I give you noobs to you, and noob advice helping noob advice, and noobies helping around each other in the battlefield, and we come pros together! But anyway, now, something I picked up about Overwatch. You want to stick with your team. Almost the entire time, almost every character, you want to stick with your team. There are a couple of characters out there who are better off being lone wolves, like Widowmaker, the sniper. But other than that, almost everybody in the character roster, they highly um, depend on their teammates. And it can be for various reasons. It can be providing cover, it can be giving health. It, for, for whatever reason, they all highly depend on other teammates. Because this game heavily emphasizes on teamwork. This isn't like Call of Duty. You can't like select a soldier and or, or a character whoever you're using. You can't select a character and run to the enemy spawn and start getting quad feeds and these sick kills. I mean, don't get me wrong, you are going to get sick kills and every time you play this game in almost every single match, you're going to be having those, you know, eye-opening oh my god moments. I just got a quad feed with one sticky bomb. You know, you're going to you're going to be getting a lot of those moments in Overwatch. However, when you get them, it's because teammates got your back. As I said, you can't march into the enemy territory, you know, guns blazing, and get these quad, fill, uh, quad feeds as you would in Call of Duty. And because of that, you want to stick with your team as much as possible. I have no idea what I was doing there, but it's a free kill, so let's just take it. You're going to be running into many characters and many enemies, and there are multiple ways to approach each and every one of them, depending on who you take. Like that girl right there, that's Tracer. Now she's very weak, at least in the beta stages, she was very, very, very weak. Her health is at 150, and you have characters whose health is at 200, 400, even this guy I have now, his health is a whopping 600. And this is just a beta, so we, have, we don't know if they're going to make him even stronger by the time the full game comes out. So imagine you got Tracer with a health of 150, and then you run into a Warthog, I mean a Roadhog. By the time the full game comes out, and R R Roadhog's at like 800 health. I mean, this is going to be insane, so there are different ways to approach different enemies. Now, in the future, I'm going to make um, a guide on how to play each character. And I'm going to do it when the full game comes out, because I've only played the beta. And because it's just a beta, I don't know if they're going to make changes to the characters when the full game comes out. So just to be on the safe side, to, to really help you guys out when the full game comes out, I'll be making different videos. Uh, you know, giving you guys advice on how to play Tracer, or Roadhog, or D.Va, and I know there are different playstyles for every character. I mean, some people like playing D.Va defensive, while some other people like playing her offensive. But I'm gonna give you my advice on how, at least in my opinion, how I felt she was most successful. But that's gonna be like much, much later in the future when the full game comes out, because, you know, I still gotta get a feel for the new mechanics, or not mechanics, uh, new, new playstyles that they may be implemented into the game when the full game came out. So, let's get on with some more noobish advice for you guys. So let's talk about character select. You don't want to focus on one hero. And by that I mean you don't want to master one hero. Let's say Tracer, the same girl with the yellow booty that everybody loves. So, with Tracer, you don't want to master Tracer. Tracer can be your best character. However, you want to get used to playing different characters for different situations. So, as I said, let's say you have Tracer at a health of 150, and let's say all the enemies are running Roadhogs. And <clears throat> it's just you, and you, all the other teammates are running, let's say, healers, and you're the only gunner who's a Tracer, and the entire enemy team is running Roadhogs. You won't have any chance. You want your team to have a huge variety so you can tackle multiple situations, and so you can back each other up in different scenarios. So, um... 
try try playing different characters. Like, um, of course you're gonna have your best hero, like for me personally, my best hero is Tracer. I feel like I play the best with her, but occasionally I do switch over to tanks like Roadhog, and I do switch over to more defensive heroes like, um, who was that? That robot, I keep forgetting that robot's name. This is a robot that could transform into a sentry gun. Anyway, and he's really overpowered in the beta, by the way, so Blizzard, if you're seeing this, Please make his sentry gun form just a little bit weaker, or at least not the bullets don't give so much damage. But anyway, back to this. Um, you want to play different heroes for different situations. If Tracer is not working for one situation, you got to play more defensive. You can take that robot, Baston, I think his name was. And let's say, for example, if the enemies are playing too defensive and you can't breach their defenses, then you want to take a sniper like Hanzo or Widowmaker. So, you know, try, try getting used to playing different heroes for different situations. And there is not a single hero who is perfect for all around Battlefield situations. You know, there there is not that one hero who makes the perfect sniper and at the same time makes the perfect defense hero. You know, everybody has their own different stats and they can all play their own role in the Battlefield, which is why it heavily emphasizes on teamwork. You know, you can't do everything on your own. You, you need you need to rely on your teammates back. And and you also want to defend your teammates. I mean, everybody wants to go out there and, you know, get the gun kills and do all the work, but there are a couple times where you're going to have to find yourself playing as a healer or playing yourself, you know, protecting somebody because as I said, it heavily emphasizes on teamwork. And it's not all about you in Overwatch. In Call of Duty, when you play Call of Duty, it's all about you, you know. You want to go out there, you want to get the quad feeds. You want to seem like the big man, you know, the big cheese, the whatever you want to call it. You want you want to seem like the, the big guy, the top player in the, in the list. Overwatch isn't like that. You have to watch your team's back and your team has to watch your back. Speaking of teamwork, that reminds me about your special. Now, everybody has a special ultimate finisher, whatever you want to call it. It's their ultimate move. And, you know, everybody has it different. Like the guy I have, he pulls out basically an automatic shotgun. While Tracer, everybody's favorite teleporting lady, she gets uh, basically a Semtex on steroids. And you're going to earn it. The way you earn it is just by getting hit markers and working with the objective. Um, the, you know, that's another thing. You have to play the objective, but I'll get to that later. Getting hit markers and working with the objective will slowly fill up your meter to earn your special ability. Of course, when you get the kill, it's going to fill up faster, but as long as you get those hit markers, you're going to get it. At least that's how it is in the beta. But anyway, um, when you get your ultimate, you want to use it as soon as possible. You want to find a situation where it's most useful and use it. You don't want to save your ultimate. And the reason for this is because this game has so much... They're, they're throwing so much at you and you don't know what's gonna happen in the future you know in Call of Duty when you have when the team is winning let's say like uh, the school limit for TDM is like 100 so if you're like at 95 and the enemy team's at a mainly 13 then yeah you can go ahead and start showing off with your quick scopes and try to get the final kill cam with a 360 quick scope and look like a boss but in this the game can quickly turn around I mean there's been times where we're playing this game mode that's very similar to domination the score limit is at 100. There have been times where my team has the objective at 99%. And then the enemy team just all, all out of nowhere. They just show up, turn the entire thing around, as, as it happened here, we lose. Once we're already at 99%. So once you get your special, you want to use it as soon as possible. So, that's the end of the video here. If you liked the video, punch that like button with a mighty force. You can follow me up on Twitter at DevontosMan, and as always, I'll see all of you in my next video. Have a nice day!